We are at Destination Star Trek 3. Yes, 3. Do you, want to, do you want to introduce yourself? Then I'll introduce myself, and that way everyone's introduced themselves. Well, yeah, that's only one way to do it. Um, okay, so I'm Richard Evans from Riser, um, which is www.startrekriser.com, the Star Trek social media website. And I'm uh, Joe Klaus, one of two hosts of Warp 10 Podcast, uh, where we're doing every single episode of Star Trek, apparently. Uh, <laughs> not my choice, but I'm being really oh. pulled into it. Um, Brilliant. How are you finding this convention? Yeah, I mean, it, it's really good. It's massive. This is my first convention myself. Oh, really? Um, so, yeah, so it's interesting, um, you know, to explore everything where... Um, and you know, just just take it all in, especially with the museum that's uh, just behind us at the moment. Um, and you know, with the different talks and so many people that we're meeting at the moment, it's just fantastic. I'd say that, like, as a Star Trek fan, this is this is kind of like mecca in England. You can't get much closer. No, I think you know, for us, you know, as Star Trek fans, you know, I think kind of one of the things. Um, that makes it so easy about London is that because it's it's such an international hub already, it just makes sense to have something here for the fans. I mean, um, I was speaking with um, one of the guys from Star Trek email, um, where they do all like the Starfleet.com email addresses, and they were saying how they ran into someone who didn't even speak English and just came here purely because it's Star Trek. And you meet Americans that have come over on holiday specifically for this weekend, um, and you, you just meet so many people from like Germany, from Europe itself, and all. Across the world just to come here to experience Trek. I kind of feel bad now because um, this couldn't be any further from my cup of tea. I've spent the whole day going around being like, oh Neil, you said the Death Star would be here and shit, like, just to <laughs> specifically wind people up. I've been a bit of a jerk about it. Um, I think the one thing that I will say is it's nice that so many people can be together to bond mm. over something they all mutually love um, and whether I understand what it is that they love or not yet. So let's bear in mind, I've only watched Enterprise. So anyone who's just about to jump <laughs> on this bandwagon, my only exposure is every episode of Enterprise. I've had to sit through that. The good and the bad. And there are some good. Yes. There are some good in there. Um, especially performances. Yeah. And then there's some not so good, especially performances. Yeah. So either way, it's uh, come good. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of getting into the original series now. Is there anything you think I should in particular look forward to? Um, I mean, for me, I've grown up from TNG onwards. Yep. So TOS for me isn't one that I'm overly familiar with. I think definitely the very first pilot episode is the iconic the one. Yeah. We've literally just watched that. That will be going online in a couple of weeks. Oh, fantastic. So. I think that is, you know, it's because it's where it all started off. That's, you know, the root cause of everything. Um, you know, without that one episode, none of what we're here for now wouldn't be here. And so I think, you know, that is probably the pinnacle moment that you've got to... Really address. Yeah. Really jump exactly. on with, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Well, it's been nice speaking to you. I'm not sure what else to say because I've kind of walked around here six or seven times now. <laughs> um, and it's cool. I'm seeing lots of interesting people. Yeah, I mean... There's loads of costume of people dressed up in costumes. I mean, um, just outside the museum, there's a guy dressed up as Spock. Yeah, I've um, seen him. He's tall. He, he's tall. He's tall. Yeah, he's. Um, I'm, I'm not a big guy. <laughs> uh, I get a little bit on edge with tall people. Yes, yeah, so like I, a borrower. Um, I can understand that. But the thing is, you know, he looks so uncanny to Spock. It's yeah, unreal. He's close. He is. It's so close. And I mean, I think the thing is that he starts off, you know, just as a fan walking, trying to walk through. He just got stopped so many times, um, and you know, and now you know he, he's spent. He's been here for like four hours, standing there taking photos. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, at one point he has security there, and then apparently he started charging as well. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. Charging well, as a fan. Well, let's keep the ball rolling. I don't charge for the podcast, and I should. I don't think you should. I'm never getting those hours back, man. You no, have no idea. It's no, so, it's no. so depressing. <laughs> If you think how many sleepless nights I've had oh, working right. on the I site. Imagine, I can imagine. Although, have you sat through the travesty that is Vox Solar from Enterprise? It's a giant no. cummy spider web. That's <laughs> literally my <laughs> <laughs> um, Well, it's been a pleasure speaking. I'll yes. A formal handshake. Absolutely. And I'll pass on my regards from Neil, who is currently being... Being... A Star Trek fan. Yeah. I guess there's no knock in it. Yeah, that's what you so can call it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you.